In QGIS, you can style layers using something called geometry generators. It's quite difficult to understand and explain in words or text. It's easier just to have a play around. So if you look at the description for this video, you'll find the file that I'm looking at. And in that, I have provided some examples. So if I double click the layer name and go to symbology, what we can see is I've already applied a geometry generator style. Now I've also added notes and these will appear as grey text. And this is just like comments in code if you're used to programming. But these uh, text comments are just for information. So at the moment we can see that the United States lower 48 file that I've got is just displaying the geometry as it actually is. So the state boundaries. If I put a dash dash before geometry that will comment that out. And I've got lots of examples here and all you need to do to activate them is delete the two dashes before them. So this one is going to scale the geometry, so it's going to scale the individual shapes and it's going to do that by 0.5 on the x-axis and 0.5 on the y-axis. So basically it's going to make them half the size. If I hit apply, we can see how that works. If I did 0.9 in each of them and hit apply, they're going to be resized by 0.9 and let me put that back to 0.5 and 0.5. Now I will put a couple of dashes before that. If we look at the bounds one, we can see what bounds does. It gives us the bounding box of states and as you can guess, minimal circle does something like that. So within this file, all you need to do to see what different geometry generator functions do is delete the two dashes. So for buffer, if I want to apply a buffer of 50,000 meters and hit apply, we can see what that does. If I use the one below it, we can see it does a negative buffer. So have a, have a little go at that, experiment, and you'll soon find a lot of different possibilities for a geometry generator.